Here is what we've learned to date. At the time of the discovery, no one was located inside the chamber. The measurements of the chamber are six foot four in height, two feet 10 inches in width, and 33 feet and three inches in length. When looking at the design, you can see that they use plywood walls and ceiling reinforcement with two by eight wood framing. When you look down, this is looking from the far end up to the front where the door is, and you can see the door here, and you can see the two by eights that I was talking about. You can see the wooden ceiling and, and the wooden walls as well, so the, 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 the structural integrity was, was, was quite sound. And then you can see um, along the ground here, there is the blue hose that I was telling you about to extract the, the water. So the sump pump was used to extract the water. It was warm inside when our officers went in. It was continuously fogging up anything that had a lens. It was about 70 degrees, 75 degrees. So it, was, uh, it wasn't cold. It was very comfortable inside. A short distance away from the chamber, there was another smaller hole. Inside that hole was a gas generator. An extension cord was used to supply power from that generator to the chamber. The extension cord was concealed. Other items located around the immediate area were moisture-resistant light bulbs, a sump pump for removing groundwater, a pulley system most likely to remove dirt, a red portable gas container, work gloves, a wheelbarrow, and food and beverage containers. Located inside the chamber, hanging from a nail, was a rosary with a Remembrance Day poppy affixed to it. This chamber was located approximately 82 feet west of the fence line that separates the Rexall Center Sports and Entertainment Complex. It was a densely forested area and well off the beaten path. As part of our investigation, the chamber was excavated, photographed, and forensically, and forensically examined, and the investigation is still ongoing. At this time, we're unable to determine who constructed this chamber, nor can we determine what the motive was for building it. The purpose of this release today is to ask the public to contact us if they have any information that can help further us in answering these questions. I'm also asking anyone who lives in the area or may have been in the area that may have noticed any type of suspicious behavior or noticed anyone bringing construction equipment or materials near the fence line or in the wooded area of Black Creek Parkland to contact the police. You can either call 31 Division at 416-808-3100 or Crime Stoppers at 416-222-TIPS or online Crime Stoppers at 222tips.com.